Hey y'all, what's good? It's your boy Tino here. Today I'm going to be breaking down to you what I believe is the best basketball shoe of all time and a basketball shoe that is relatively unknown compared to its counterparts. So let's get into it. So what I consider to be the best basketball shoe of all time, a greatly underappreciated, underrated shoe, is the brand black J Crossover 2. Now before I talk about the shoe, I just want to give you the tech specs on the shoe. So let's get into the tech specs. The upper is constructed of a synthetic leather that goes around the heel collar. The midfoot to the forefoot is constructed of a woven textile material. The midsole consists of jet line cushioning with a cushioned foam insole. The outsole is constructed of rubber and multi-directional blade traction patterns. All right, so let me get into why I believe this is the greatest basketball shoe of all time. Why I say that, and why I've been saying this for months, uh, to anyone who asked me, this shoe is the greatest basketball shoe of all time because A, it is durable. The cushioning is amazing. It's not too mushy, and it's not too stiff. You get that responsiveness you need, but you also get that impact protection you need to keep your joints straight. The traction, you don't really ever have to wipe, and that's big if you're playing competitively. Now me personally, I go to the rec, I train people, that's all I do. I don't need amazing traction, but the fact that I get amazing traction in this shoe is awesome. And also I am a bigger guy. So the impact protection on these shoes, in my opinion, isn't as mushy as Boost and it's not as bouncy as Air. But what it is, I would say, is somewhere in between to where you get that responsiveness and court feel you need, but your knees will be thanking you for wearing them. Support and lockdown. The synthetic leather does an amazing job at A, keeping your ankle in place, and B, preventing that heel slippage that kills a lot of basketball shoes. The upper also separates itself from a prime knit and a fly knit. And what separates it is A, it is much less hard as the fly knit that they used in the KV9. But it's also much more durable than the Prime Knit in the Adidas Crazy Explosive. This shoe is very breathable, but you never feel uncontained and you never feel like your foot's going to flop out. The tongue is a traditional setup. The lacing system is very traditional. So in regards to pricing of this shoe, it retailed at $140. Now that was about two years ago. You can now get this shoe on finish line on Nordstrom Rack. You can get these on plenty of sites, not brand black because they have moved away from the J Crossover series because Jamal Crawford left them to go to Adidas. What separates this shoe from all other performance models today of this caliber is the fact that you can get this shoe for around 60 to $70 and get a shoe that will last you a long time that will compete with, if not out-compete, all other basketball shoes. If you're asking me, I need a basketball shoe. I'm a casual basketball player. I'm a high school, middle school, collegiate. Whatever your level is, I would recommend this shoe because it has an affordable price point now. And I would recommend this shoe because it has a very affordable price tag right now it's on sale and you can likely even use discount codes to get an even better deal on the J Crossover 2. So if you guys like more sneaker related content, you want my thoughts on other shoes, runners, whatever it may be, be sure to let me know down in the description. You want to know my thoughts on the best cushioning setups? Let me know down in the description. I may not have the biggest sneaker collection in the world, but I am more versed in sneakers. My collection right now is around 60 pairs. I'm more versed in performance basketball shoes more than I am casual wear shoes. So, this is just my thoughts. Hopefully, you guys will give Brand Black a shot. If not, that's cool. Link to Brand Black through Nordstrom Rack will be down in the description below. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts on Brand Black down below. Comment if you didn't know about Brand Black. It's Tino, checking in, checking out. Peace. Different prayer, Lord, please save her for me. Do this one favor for me